Hello everybody, you have tuned in to Eric Jose on Making a Murderer on YouTube. I cover virtually any aspect of Making a Murderer. I go over the evidence, the documents, the photos. So if you'd like, stay tuned and in the future I'll have many more videos besides the one you're about to see. Okay, so very interesting. Some of you may have heard about the subpoena issued. It was called Subpoena Deuces Tickum. Deuces Tickum. Um, I hadn't previously covered it, but little consequence it is now because basically this letter to Judge Sukowicz, Kathleen T Zellner is telling Judge Sukowicz that you know, the, the subpoena is no longer needed um, and because Barb has come and handed it over, handed the computer over to her so she could hand it to her expert, Gary Hunt. So go ahead and read it here. Dear Judge Sukowicz, Please be advised that we are withdrawing our motion to issue subpoena deuces tecum to Barbara Taddock. On August 12, 2018, Ms. Taddock voluntarily provided our investigator with the DASI computer. The computer was delivered to our forensic expert, Gary Hunt, in Chicago on August 13, 2018. Mr. Hunt will perform a forensic examination of the computer over the next 10 days. If necessary, as a result of this forensic examination, Mr. Avery will ask to supplement his previously filed motion to supplement his pr prior post-conviction petition. So, Kathleen Zellner is going to be able to get in there. Now, her expert's going to be able to see a lot of things, I, w I would say, at this point. I'll tell you something. The, the, the way that the state was, was so worried about Zellner being able to re-examine this computer tells me that there is something there. Maybe they did something. Maybe they played with something. Maybe they maybe deleted some things or something. Maybe there's something that they did that they're now not so, you know, happy about. And now they're worried that Zellner might see it and figure it out and, and bring it to light. I don't know. I mean... It just seems odd to me that, that that they took this attitude of they were allowed to examine the computer, but nobody else was, especially in the light of all that was happening with the way that they had handled the previous information on the computer. So, I mean, nothing changes with these guys. They're always the same. But So this is interesting. I, I mean, hats off to Barb, because Barb basically just now leveled the playing field. She didn't. She made sure that the state didn't have an unfair advantage. And so now Kathleen Zellner gets to look at all that stuff and the state can't do a thing about it. So thank you, Barb, for that. I know that this was tough for you. I know that the stuff on that computer is a source of, of great pain for you and in, in regards to your son, Bobby, and, and your entire family. And like I said, I know this was hard for you. And, and you know, I just I'm very... Very impressed that you were able to step up and level the playing field here. And so everybody has the same chance at the same information um, to really sort this out so that it doesn't end up coming out one-sided as the state would like it. So uh, that's about it for this one, folks. Uh, if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. We'll see you.